Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Steelers going to get the football first here, trailing on the scoreboard as we are back underway on EA Sports. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And the Steeler offense ready to get going here in this third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. On first and ten, Bradshaw. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake in the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. He was able to run free after the catch. just shy of midfield. They'll hand off to Foster. A nice little juke. And now running right through it. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. There are so many definitions of a complete back. I think most people think a guy who can block, a guy who can catch, and a guy who can run. But how about when you put it all together as a runner and you can fake people out, you can be shifty, and also run with some power and break tackles, as we just saw on that pickup. Off the bootleg, Bradshaw. That swung out wide to Harris. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They hand this off to Harris. Oh, now Harris lost it. It's a fumble. And the Raiders pick it up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in, in meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. They begin with a run by Davis. Gets past one man. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Oh, 
On the give, this is Hubbard. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. defensive bats in the ball game here on third and six. They'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part to got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover. But doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah. And they had all that momentum after getting the football. And now zapped right back in the other direction. Las Vegas sending out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And last time the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? And down he goes, brought down a Raider sack. It's Khalil Mack that time, shooting in there to get him to the ground. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly, and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. From the gun, Bradshaw. And hauled in by the tight end, Miller. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Operating from the gun, Bradshaw. Throw left side, going to be taken in by Harris. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover it before he gets going? And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. A third quarter now to one point game as they line up second and 10. They run the counter. It's Harris. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44 yard line. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. To throw on third down, Bradshaw. He's going deep for Brown. And unable to connect, incomplete. 
Uh, give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. What we've seen so far in this game, they are not going to allow a big shot over the top. You can have whatever you want underneath. They'll give you that, but they're not going to let you beat them deep. Here's Jordan Berry now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Now he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shot of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. On second down, here's a run with Hubbard. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now back to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? A second and 10 forthcoming here. Third quarter action in the Steel City of Pittsburgh, PA. They're going to look to throw. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big play there for the Raiders. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zooming past that number there. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Looking to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him, and, and what a lot of teams do, They'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -to, -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter play. The Raiders on third down, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and two. And he'll go again here with Hubbard. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Hasn't been his best afternoon on the ground. Far from it, but a critical third down conversion. This afternoon just got better. Hey, you're exactly right. Hasn't been his best in terms of yardage, but that run there, that's the one your teammates look to you and go, okay, that's what we want from you. That's what we need. Now they have a chance to keep moving forward and a chance to win the game. Oh, 
So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Hubbard. Bulldozes past him. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. 40 yards rushing for him now to this point. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that will work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's going to go down back at the 27-yard line. He's sacked. It'll be a loss at seven on the sack, and it brings up second. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage, or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. They'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The Raiders on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and nine. They'll look to throw. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. So decision time now, because a field goal keeps it a one-score game. What are you thinking? Well, I'm looking at the down and distance, and that's where the issue comes in. It's not short enough that it's a no-brainer and you go for it. You have to analyze this one. To me, you take the field goal, take the points. I don't think you want to risk coming away with nothing. And this one is right through. And they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Working with second and five now. They'll try the right side with Harris. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense was pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game, and all that pregame wolfing has turned into results.
And the Steelers on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and eight. From the gun, Bradshaw. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Here's Jordan Berry now, as he's on to punt for Pittsburgh. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Raiders will take over now first and 10. The Raiders offense ready to go. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays they are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal? End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. Well, here's a good way to kick off a drive, complete over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. They'll look to throw here on first down. He's going to wind up and air it out. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. They'll run on first down. It's Hubbard. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. They're likely put an end to this thing. Right back to Hubbard. He will push his way down to about the 14. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. They'll try and run for this with Hubbard. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right oh at God. the 10. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Second and goal. Go. 
They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. Maybe flashback to high school or college <laughs> carrying it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. The Raiders likely going to get out of this with a victory as they take a knee. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out.